Hey guys, alright, it's me, Hugo Designer, and today we're gonna play Hard Code by Nerdling Nation. Already starting us off in a tube ride. I love tube ride entrances. I love tube ride entrances. Yeah. Uh, this map looked really pretty. And look at those sprites, those lights. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention. Still the same day of recording. Still got a cold. Still got the sniffles. And still gonna have a stuffy voice. So, apologies for that. Oh, I can just drop off here. Interesting. But yeah, I really like this tile. It's kind of what I would imagine my uh, night therapy theme would look like if it actually looked any better because like this whole construction thing with like open stuff oh laser blocker huh speaking of lasers <laughs> that's the exit that's so cool that is so cool I want to see that Hello? I heard panels. Here, probably. Oh, a cube pass. That's interesting. Oh, no, it's a bridge. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stop pretending that I know what this is about. But yeah, very nice design. And so very few moving parts. Uh, so where's my resource? Faith light. Uh, I need a laser here, and for that I need a laser cube, and for that I need to press the button that I conveniently missed out on. Interesting. Also, nice detail with the floor tiles being missing here because of how much the cube hit there. Okay, so... There, probably. Appreciate the different colored tiles on the floor. And... Laser pointer thing. I really wish I had a better, like, laser pointing thing working. So that... Yeah. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. I wish that was inverted so like it would follow convention because the orange version of the fate plate is usually the deactivated one. Ha! Huh. I want to do what exactly? I want to do both. And I think the way to do both is by not doing both because the only angle in which they line up takes us to the void so that's not it why would I want to get up here I don't have the cube well let's just take the faith plate anyways 
Okay, I can. Yes, I, I know, I, I'm aware I can grab the cube from here, but... Oh! Oh! Oh? Actually, I think I want the cube to be here. Yeah, I want to bring the cube up with me. How? But then, if I could bring the cube here with me, then I would already be done, so that's not it. I think I will use the cube as a stepping stone at some point, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, is that offset? Oh, laser collision is off. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Wait, what? Okay, I just had a bit of a strange. Ooh, shadows, moving shadows. I love how subtle the lighting here is with the projected texture. Because usually you see those like being super intense and strong. But yeah, I really appreciate the subtlety of the design here. The only thing that turns that off is this. But to bring the cube up here, I would need. What would I need to bring the cube up here? I don't actually know. That's refreshing. Because I felt like the last two maps that I played were a little straightforward. Why is that there? To block this for sure, but why? Do I see anything during the Faith Plate launch? No. That's good. That's really good. Because otherwise that would have been like very disappointing. Okay, so. There are no portal label surfaces in here, right? Other than this one. No, they are not. Oh, hold on. How long? Instantaneously. That's good to know. It is instantaneous. So there's nothing related to like a delay or anything. Oh, about the gap thing. I think I need the bridge and the laser at the same time, but how? Let's just do this thing for now. Like that. I love puzzles like this one, 
where it's just laser logic and like well at least so far yes it can get up there but I don't think I want to Uh, what can I do here? I want to have the laser cube up there. That's my first step. How, though? This doesn't... Let's go back here for a moment. Just so I can make sure that I understand what's going on. If I had that fizzler open, I could shoot a portal there for sure. But in order to do that, I would need a portal there and a portal on the bridge already. How would I do that? So let's think about that. How would I have a portal on either side before opening this fizzler up? I can't. I just can't. That's the thing. Oh, this is here so that I don't walk the laser cube. Right, that's good. That's very good. Okay, let's... Apologies for the sniffles again. I could have waited to get better, but I just really wanted to play some Portal 2 after a while. Just came back from traveling, so... It's nice. So how do I... But if I get the cube there, then... The game is already over somewhat. So it's not that simple. I can get up there. Like that. But if I go there, I can't go back here. Let's just do that anyways, because it's better than standing around. I do like the subtle music also. Sure, I can respawn the cube. That doesn't help me in the slightest. And those are the only portal label surfaces. Only four portal label surfaces. Okay. Can I launch the cube up there? If I could. How would I do that though? Uh, I'm really unsure. How do I even do that? I might need to launch the cube, but I don't know how. Because in order to do so, I would already need the laser here. And yeah, this is not coming portal label anytime soon and this doesn't line up this only lines up with this and I can't redirect the am I missing something I don't think I am I think this is the puzzle pretty sure this is all there is to it which by the way is very nice love this 
I can do this. Sure. And I can do this. Sure. Can I do anything else from up here? I can grab the cube. Can I kill the cube remotely? Can I do anything from up here at all? I can grab the cube from up here, sure. But how do I kill the cube? I could have the cube there, but... Uh... Oops. If I had the cube like floating somewhere there, lining both of these up. What else can I do from here? I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. Because this was supposed to be like the first step in the puzzle. can't just launch the cube only four photo label surfaces so this is all that I can do with the laser so far I feel like the way to get the cube up there is by killing it, because it all respawns and I can grab it from up there, but how can I kill it remotely? Oh, is that it? Wait. This is wrong. Let's try it anyways. I uh, kind of wish the soundscape didn't change as abruptly. But okay.
get it as close to the fizzler as possible without touching the fizzler myself i guess that could work but i wouldn't count on it yeah this doesn't feel right Is that it? Because... Sure, that works. Let's try again. Uh... Is that it though? Because, I mean, sure, I can do this. No problem there, but look, setting this up feels extremely difficult because I have to get real close to the fizzler at an angle. If it was something like this, like where I can see where the cube is going until I get very up close to it, then sure, that would work. I'm gonna have to assume this is it though, for now at least. I suppose that if this wasn't intended then just like you can't walk the cube with that then they would have like a dip on the floor or something to prevent you from placing the cube on this particular spot because that's what I did in Mendelbrot. I'm gonna have to assume this is it though and the delay in when the cube spawns okay I guess that works quick save here cuz now the next step is I'm pretty sure conserving the portal there. Oh, I see why that has the bridge signage. That's tricky. Okay, so I have to get down. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do this. Because I'm pretty sure I need the portal there and there. I can respawn the cube, right? Let's quick save here again. Do this, okay. And I can walk around the fizzler, sure. Here's something I want to test though where would I line up both here? That's definitely not it. But... I can line stuff up with this. One second. With this mark here because i'm pretty sure this is deliberate it's not just like a reminder 
would I want to line it up with this? Pretty sure I would. My ultimate goal is to bring the cube over there. Let's try this for now. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Maybe I should keep it up there. think so because I was I was thinking uh, maybe I need this open by having the cube there again and once that's open I can just like place my orange portal there and have the bridge cross this but how would that help me I don't think it would is the thing I think I want to have a portal there. Do I though? Maybe? No. Uh, if I get the cube anywhere there, even though there are markings on the floor there, then I'm basically screwed because I would need to have both of my portals or maybe not both just one of them but huh unless I had like the cube up there a portal there and a portal there and be up there to grab the cube again or something like that what for again what's what's the next step is the question i ultimately want the cube on the other side wait can i just do that holy shit i've been over complicating it <laughs> i just want the cube on the other side that's all i want That's everything that I want. And I can climb using the cube, I think. But then how do I deactivate? Let's just try this for now. Risky, I know, but... Sometimes you gotta risk stuff. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. 
I'll even leave it like closer to here in case I mess up. So how do I raise the platform now? Or is it like it isn't? Okay, that's good. Good. <laughs> the ladder fell off. Uh Oh shit! Wait, no! What the fuck? Huh. Because for a moment I thought that I needed to have. But no, the relay is not lined up. And even if it was, that's for the uh, faith plate. And even if the relay was lined up and turned off the fizzler. I still don't have access to any other portal label surface. If I kill the cube, the platform will rise immediately. Oh shit, I just realized. I need my orange portal there, I need the cube here, and I need to move my orange there later. Fuck. Okay, so... Just getting the cube here is not... The whole point. So how do I keep a portal there? When I had the, the, the bridge going around, I'm pretty sure that was part of the solution. How would I go about getting the cube there or a portal there? Sorry, I was thinking, like, if I had the cube there in the intersection area, I could leave it there, pointing at either that catcher or the relay, go back, shoot a portal there. The laser will redirect, sure. Then I could get inside, or like... I don't know, maybe it's there and I just shoot a portal there. But that's the same as. Yeah, it's walking in circles. Even if I had the cube there, how would I. How? Apologize for the sniffles. Let's see if I can gain some time by just going back to here. Yeah. Quick save again. Uh. I can do this, sure. And that means I fucked up. Big time. Fantastic. I should have left my portal there. Okay, so now I have to restart. Apologize for the sniffling again. 
That doesn't help at all. Yeah, not in the slightest. Let's just recall the cube and start over. Wait, I had a portal there and a portal there. Recall the cube. Laser gets through. Doesn't help because I can't get the laser, so never mind. I'm just gonna leave you here. Pointing at the catcher. And we're gonna start over. This is a really good map, by the way. My only problem with it is that part which I have to assume is intended Because, yeah, running there to press the button, I can't then go back. It has to be this. Yeah, the timing is basically perfect for this. Okay, so now, without messing up, I know I keep quick saving and then not using my quick loads, but. Quick loading also takes a long time, so it's not at all quick. I can move my portal. Let's try that. I'm pretty sure this is intended because of the signage. I walk around the Fizzler and grab a new cube. I'm pretty sure up to this point everything is correct. Pretty sure. So now. I'm also pretty sure I can just line stuff up from here. Like, fine, but what do I gain from it? This helps. Uh, the cube jumping doesn't. Quick save, just in case. had it there I could swap it to this portal here and well, let's try that because why not why the heck not this intersection feels important enough 
let's just try that. Okay. Quick save. I don't know what I would gain from doing that, but... Yeah, exactly. I need to have a portal there. That's the goal. How do I do that? Also, I just screwed up again, so I'm gonna have to recall the cube again. Except this time, I think I can gain some time again by, well, not really, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, no time gain. This helps a lot in orienting myself. So now blue portal on the bridge. Come on, aim. Walk around. Place the portal there. We call the cube. Bridge. Walk around again. I can get the cube to the other side, no problem. you have a portal there this helps with the fate plate but not the catcher huh is that it maybe that is it actually But how would I... Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's pretend that I have a portal there and I do both there. No, if I have a if I have the cube there, then I can just shoot there. Can I shoot there? While that is off. Have a portal there. 
No, I can't. Oh, what I could have is the cube on the bridge, pointing it there. Maybe, maybe that's what I need to do, actually. Hold on. How would I do that, though? Let's think this through. I would need the, the bridge to come out of there. I would need to already have the cube. So let's pretend it was here. Yeah, I would point it there. At the faith plate, so... Okay, 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 I got it. I got it, I got it. So, cube... You're actually coming with me, because I think I'm starting to figure out this puzzle. Very devilishly clever and simple. Four portal surfaces. This is mad. This is just mad. Okay, so you come with me. And... You're gonna point there. I'm just gonna do it here, because it's safer for me. Yes, there. Right? Yeah. Somewhere where it won't bounce off. Quick save. Orange there. Now I can go through the portal. Oh, okay. Bring the cube with me. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere now. I would like to think that. Quick save. Jump here, just so I don't mess with the cube. Ah, God, please let this be right. Blue here. Cube dies. do that uh, how do I bring the cube through now I do have to bring it through, so... What I did there, I had the cube pointing there. Now I have a portal there, which is what I wanted. I can move my orange portal almost freely. can go up there again, sure. Not sure how that helps though. If that was like on the bridge or something,
I'm thinking of something which would justify that being a faith play, but I do not like the implication if I'm right. So, uh, I would need to have the cube up there. So this time I'm gonna quick load just in case. Uh, I quick loaded and uh, okay. Oh, so now you burn. Okay, I'm just gonna do this so it doesn't burn me anymore. But okay, so I'm gonna have to redo everything again. much can save but yeah I think I'm figure it out that's a lot of steps by the way I'm not complaining this is brilliant I'm not a fan of this one wish it was easier to pull off okay quick save here Orange there. Go around. Recall the cube. But yeah, that is tricky, man. Blue there. Just so I can do this again. Go around again, bring the cube with me, place it on the bridge, redirect the laser. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna use the intersection again just because it's easier. Arguably. Cube goes back to me. Up to this step, it's perfect. Now comes the part I'm unsure about this and I place blue there I'm not even going to quick save this time uh there and orange there I, I quick save I'm sorry yeah I think that's what I was supposed to do now wait for the cube to die and grab it now what now I have the blue portal where I want it I don't want to drop down yet. I guess I can redirect through here. I done I think I'm done I think I'm done I think I'm done 
I think I'm done. Am I done? I think I'm done. Because, yeah, I have a portal there. And a portal here. And the cube with me. That was mono portal pocketing in a dual portal puzzle. What the... F How? How? Pocketing in a dual portal puzzle. How? Nevertheless... I now do this. And I now do this. And holy fuck. That is a brilliant puzzle. Holy moly. That was... Oh my god, that was so brilliant. Look at this, almost an hour of recording. I know you guys can't see this, but I'm favoriting this puzzle. And it also needs an award. Let's give them an award. That is... Uh, superstar? Sure. Give award. Uh, it actually needs another award, I believe. Let's give it another award. Uh, let's give it the... Uh, Michelangelo award. Sure, and let's give it the Mad Scientist Award, because why not? Because, yeah, that was a brilliant puzzle. Holy. Uh, I didn't quite like the part where you have to put the cube right next to the Fizzler. I wish there was a more reliable way of doing that. But, uh, that part with the relay, because it only needs to activate for a split second when you drop the cube from the bridge with the laser. That was not uh, intuitive, but at the same time, it wasn't uh, not not. How how do I put it? It wasn't intuitive, but at the same time, it was intuitive. Uh, yeah, that was... I don't know. Overall, I really, really, really like this puzzle. The hammer work was amazing. The music was great. Everything just clicked together. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.